Think there's gonna be a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I don't think there's gonna be a sensor longer than fourteen. And I'm gonna to have to figure out a way. Yeah. Oh well. It looks like I've given. I think it looks like I've given thirty minutes to this. So I want to move on to the next thing because this is not coming up easy. Uh, new email. Hey, sexy. From Masha9000, 1SF3S247FD at df2h9agg.0ga753.ru. I am Masha9000, freshly created in Novosibirsk factory not such a long time ago, programmed with many moves and techniques to make you feel the best. My material and construction are top quality. I can come to you in unmarked container and free shipping to the world. Click to see my pictures. Yeah, no. So the next project is actually kind of interesting. Airline cocktail mixture mixer. From Joe. I was inspired by a flight I was on recently. Most of the drinking options were whatever the flight attendants could throw together. Just a mixer and a small selection of liqueurs. A drink mixing device could be made in an easily portable case and could dispense a wide variety of drinks for customers. I did my homework and called several airlines to gauge their interest and selection of okay, and reception to the idea was good, so I think we should go ahead and try to develop this product. I've also designed out an initial selection of drink ingredients and mixes which I've sent along. In the meantime, while the engineering effort moves forward, I will create a marketing and rollout plan. From Carl Teske, hang on! Who are you and what have you done with our Joe? Ah, uh, yeah. Joe's actually getting more developed. So. So, keypad is an X-Bus input connected to a keypad. Vodka, gin, lemon, lime, cranberry, and vermouth are s simple outputs connected to the mechanism that dispense those ingredients at a rate of one half ounce per time unit. When a value is available from keypad, Read it and assemble the corresponding cocktail from The Elegant Bachelor, which can be found in the supplemental data section of the manual. One vodka shot, two lemon drop, three cosmopolitan, four Cape Cod, five vodka martini, six gimlet, seven gin martini. So you know what this means. Back to the manual. And it's actually the next page after this. The Elegant Bachelor, making the most of a few simple ingredients. It is a given that the elegant bachelor will have a wet bar for entertaining friends or that very special guest. But stocking all of the various liqueurs needed to fully equip a bar can be quite expensive, a cost that would easily run into the thousands of dollars. Fortunately, the science of mixology has shown us that a respectable variety of drinks can be made with a few key ingredients, vodka, gin, and dry vermouth in the alcohol department, and sweetened lemon, lime, and cranberry for the mixes. With just these six components, a classical number of cocktails are eminently possible for the Elgin Bachelor to serve to his evening company. Here we present them along with sample talking points. Vodka shot. This is sure to get the party started. One and a half ounce of vodka. Lemon drop. When life hands you lemons, make lemon drops is what I always say. Three ounces vodka, one ounce lemon mix. Cosmopolitan. Now here's a sophisticated drink for a discerning gentleman or lady. 2 ounces vodka, 1 ounce lime, lime mix, 1 ounce cranberry mix. Cape Cod. Did you know that cranberries used to be called cranberries? It's true. 2 ounces vodka, 2 ounces cranberry mix. Vodka martini. Here's an ingenious variation on the classic martini. 3 ounces vodka, 1 ounce dry vermouth. Gimlet. The perfect cocktail for a fine evening with good company. 3 ounces gin, 1 ounce lime mix. Gin martini. The martini is one of those drinks that has simply never gone out of style. Three ounces gin and one ounce dry vermouth. So, as you can see, we can divide, we can probably easily divide the drinks into drinks that require vodka, which there's um, 
five of them. And drinks that require gin, so there's two of them. And then two of the drinks also require driver moon, so... I think... Well, I was going to say this should be easy, but I don't know anymore. But, well, we've got six outputs, so... I figure we might as well use two DX300s. One for the out... What? Oh, uh, these are placed poorly. Well, okay, you know what? Let's just go for this. Let's just figure this out. Um. Uh, do do do. Okay, so we need an X bus. We need it to sleep X until it gets the data in. Now then. Okay, so. Yeah, they're in the same order, so... Okay, uh, move, x naught, accumulator. Okay, so then we need to test greater than, accumulator, 5, is, move, accumulator, x2, otherwise move, accumulator, x3. Okay, so... Um, hmm. X, X0. I'm gonna make a note here. This should be, uh, gin drinks. Uh, okay, so. Okay, in either case. Hmm. So, in both cases, it's three ounces of gin, which means six time units. And then, uh, one ounce of either Lime Mix or Driver Move. So, uh, that's great. Then... x naught. So this should either be a 6 or a 7. It's greater than 6. Is... Let's see. I'll hook that up there. Up there. 2, 3. Actually, I may need a 6,000 for all the time on this. Okay, let, let's go with a 6,000. Okay, so then I can uh, maybe be back, it's not. Just greater than, it's not. Six. It is. Then that's a gin martini. Or actually, in either case, let's see, it's going to be three ounces of gin. Then up, so it's up here, so it's a uh, move 10 x3, and then uh, test greater than x on 6. If it is, that means it's a martini, so we need okay, so move uh, move 1 x2. Otherwise, move, we need line make, move, 100, x2, sleep, 2, move, 0, x2, sleep, 4, move, 0, x3. Alright, so in either, so in the case of either a gimlet or a gin martini, this should dispense the drink correctly, so... Oh, there's that too. So, um, let's see, 6,000 here. This should be, well, vodka drinks. Okay. Uh, we bag X naught. X not dat is equal dat one. Uh, no, let's actually let's rewire this then if a little. Or actually, or I could put a bridge there. That that'll work. Or actually, I could wire it that way then, and then uh, this down into there. Actually, I should probably just make sure it's equal to that one is that's a vodka shot. So then uh, move 100 x3 sleep.
three, three. That should be fine. Uh, so then I need to test if it. I want to then to test if it's a four or five. So uh, test greater than. Actually, well, what if I test equal dad two? It is. Okay, well, let's divide this up further, maybe. Okay, so two of these drinks have cranberry mix, and three of them don't. So maybe I should have a subcontroller to split them into cranberry and not cranberry. So how about a 4000X up here? Maybe? Uh... Well, hmm. Okay, what if I put it there? Come on, there. There we go. Okay, so sleep X, X1, move X1, accumulator. Okay, so uh, test less than, accumulator 5, biz, test less than, all right, test greater than, accumulator 2, is move accumulator x2 otherwise move accumulator x3 okay so if i put this down here hey i can do that and that there x2 or x naught s equal x naught uh okay so Okay, so if it's a 3, then it's a Cosmo. If it's a 4, then it's a Cape Cod. So, uh, actually, in either case, we're going to have to move uh, Vodka for 2. So, move 100x3, and test equal if it's 3. If it is, move. Let's see, we're going to need 1 ounce lime and 1 ounce cranberry. So move 110 x2 sleep 2 otherwise uh move 10 x2 Oh and then oh actually I should probably move this up. move 0 x2 Yeah, then, uh, here, uh, sleep two. Oh, crud, we're out of... We're out of time. Because we need this... We need, uh, in either case, it needs to sleep for four time years total to get all the vodka it needs. Uh... Plus, I also have to clear it. To sleep to, huh? Okay, maybe I have to use a six thousand for this. So copy that, clear that. Although, <sighs> although the problem is. I'm going to fit the 6,000 I'm sure I'm going to need for that up there. Okay, what if I move this back a bit? Like that. And then that there. Connect to there. Okay, maybe now I could fit a couple of MC6000s in. Zero 
X3. I should that work? Will that work? Okay, so X2 goes into here. That's where the that's where the vodka is dispensed from. And then uh <laughs>